My low point probably was when I was laying in that hospital bed, uh, not knowing if I was going to walk, not knowing what was going to happen, and dealing with just losing Reagan. He was killed in a car, not actually in the accident, he was killed due to the injuries of the accident, um, April 23rd of 2011. And uh, Reagan was a great kid. He uh, played all the sports in high school. He was four-time Texas high school champion, two all-arounds and two steer wrestling champions. Uh, he is also now in the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame. And um, we really miss him. In the wake of the tragedy, Mary's husband, Byron, bought her a horse to help ease the pain, but things went from bad to worse. The first rodeo, as I owned him, actually he fell with me and shattered my pelvis, broke two toes and two vertebrae in my back. Recovery would be a long and taxing four months in a wheelchair and then three months of rehab just to be able to walk again. But it's about this time that the healing would begin. Walker and her horse, Latte, we're about to stage a comeback. My year started out a little bit slow. Um, I was still having a lot of balance issues. Byron took me by the hand and said, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do it all the way. Uh, throughout our year, I've gotten stronger. My horse has gotten stronger. He had never been on the rodeo road before. He's just that one special horse that it takes and you knew, I knew the first time I stepped on him that he could be that special horse. And I thought, okay, do I, am I ready to get out there with the 20 year olds and, and try to do it again? And, and I thought this is my once in a lifetime opportunity and I'm gonna try it. There are a lot of cliches about dealing with life and the challenges it provides, but Mary is proof that dreams come true and sometimes it really is darkest just before the dawn. You just gotta go on with your life and, and it's the worst thing in the world to lose a son and two months later be in a wheelchair. But there is hope. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. To be able to qualify for the NFR is a dream come true for anyone, especially a 53-year-old lady. I've heard more about the first grand entry and I'm, that's what I'm looking forward to the most is riding in that grand entry.